My name is Michael Jones. I'm senior partner at Foster & Partners, which is the architectural studio of Norman Foster, and we're based in London. People have a sense of how buildings sound. And, you know, at the end of the day, an architect's job is about dealing with people's senses. You know, we live in an environment where the light changes constantly and the sound changes constantly and we get a constant change of temperature and that's what we enjoy, that's what we were made for. And so um, I think it's really important, particularly for sound, to start working right from the beginning on any project to make sure that you create an environment that's the best it can possibly be for whatever task it's being created for. We were working for many years for Bloomberg on the building before no, anyone ever knew of the existence of Maya Sound. But we had a very particular set of challenges to address, which was about Bloomberg's desire to have spaces which would support and really encourage conversations, encourage innovation, encourage interaction. And to do that in a sort of natural way, particularly in rooms that are very, very large and people have a difficulty hearing one another and, and talking naturally, we were really sort of scratching our heads a bit about how to make it happen in the most natural and intuitive way possible. Um, and somebody suggested that we should go out to California and, and meet with Maya. I call our constellation system invisible architecture because it means that for architects and designers, they can create a space to make it and make it sound like anything they want. So for architects, artists, creative people, this technology is for them. It gives them tools to literally change a space at a moment's notice with a touch of a button. They can create acoustic cathedral or underwater sounds or any number of things and it it's it's beyond what most people are, are aware of that and we can do it and it's exciting what I'd like to add is the uh, idea that with now that we have high-powered computers and speaker systems we can create spaces that couldn't be built physically and we can create spaces that uh, will take people into environments that they've never experienced because you're not limited by physical acoustics. So this is not just a, a, a duplication of building a cathedral or a sound of a cathedral. It's building spaces that, that are beyond anything we've ever heard. The idea of Constellation is that we capture the natural acoustic of the room, we then return energy into the room uh, and by adding gain to Constellation we gradually increase the resonance of the space. In addition we have our patented uh, Veras uh, reverberators that enable us to build a secondary chamber around the room so we can effectively double or triple the perceived size of the space to make it feel like a much larger uh, area so that you can take a room with a very low reverberation time and uh, increase that up to three seconds if you wanted to make it sound like a cathedral. I think what's nice about Bloomberg is as I walk around it now and people come and speak to me as they've learned who I am, I'm the architect, they now occupy the building, they often say well I like the way this sounds or feels, but I don't know why. And they don't know why the space sounds like it does, and they don't know why, you know, they can't hear the people walking past them on a wooden floor quite as much as they thought they would, and they don't know why. But they, what they do know is that it works, and they like it, and they're enjoying it. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. This particular event is very unique. I don't think it's ever been done quite like this. Michael Kimmelman is here from the New York Times. He recently did an article talking about the fact that sound matters for architects and we've known this, architects know this, but this is an intersection for us to all try to think about how to work together and how to raise the bar and do things in a way that has not have not been done before. So we are thrilled that this is happening right now here in Portugal at MAT.